Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. In my last video, I reviewed the K580 keyboard, which looks very similar to this one. So no, you are not watching the same video. This is the Logitech MK470 keyboard mouse combo. And yes, Logitech is using this type of tissue wrapping paper again. What an unboxing experience. This Logitech M470 combo is made up of the K470 keyboard and the M340 mouse. This is as basic as it can get for a plug and play wireless keyboard and mouse. The USB receiver is not a Logitech unifying receiver that allows us to connect to multiple devices. It comes pre-connected to this particular keyboard and this mouse and it cannot be repaired with any other devices. This is a good thing because we can be sure that this USB receiver will always work with only this keyboard and mouse. No chance of repairing with another device and it doesn't work with this original keyboard and mouse. Watch this video appearing on the top right to learn more about the three different types of Logitech USB receiver or find the link in the description down below. So, it might be easier if we continue to talk about what this MK470 keyboard and mouse cannot do because it's so basic. It is not a multi-device keyboard, so it can only connect to a computer using its USB-A receiver. No Bluetooth connectivity. There is no Logitech software to install. Even if you install the standard Logitech Option Plus software, it doesn't recognize this MK470 keyboard and mouse combo. This K470 keyboard does not have any indicator lights, so it's always on once we install the batteries. It doesn't even have an on-off switch for us to turn it off. I guess Logitech is very confident with its battery life claiming up to 36 months. They can't be bothered to install an on-off switch. As with the M340 mouse, there is an on-off switch. Maybe because the battery can only last up to 18 months. However, there is still no indicator lights. The design of this M340 mouse is the same with the well-known M350 Pebble mouse. But it's nowhere near its capabilities. The M350 Pebble mouse is a multi-device Bluetooth compatible mouse. Whereas this M340 only works as part of the MK470 keyboard and mouse combo set. Having said that, I'm glad this M340 mouse has the same ergonomics and aesthetic of the M350 Pebble mouse, silent mouse click and chunky scroll wheel. Both the design of this M340 and M350 Pebble mouse is particularly nimble for a small mouse. Aiming, clicking and dragging are all surprisingly easy. Have a look at this demo. Even though I kept on harping on what this MK470 combo cannot do, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. It's actually a very simple and functional keyboard and mouse. If not, I won't be recommending them on my channel. Typing on the membrane keys of the K470 is very nice and quiet. My typing muscle memory adapted to the well-spaced keys in no time. The key travel distance is just right giving us enough tactile feedback. While on the topic of typing, this keyboard has only one tilt angle, and the angle cannot be adjusted. And no, you are not seeing double. 
This is the K50 keyboard I just reviewed last week. The link is appearing on the top right and also in the description down below. Both these keyboards have the same dimension, tilt angle, number of keys, and typing experience. However, the big difference is that this MK470 is catered for people who simply want a wireless keyboard and mouse without the complication and hassle of connecting and pairing with multiple computers and phones. Whereas the K580 is designed for those who like to occasionally switch devices to reply a message on their phone while working on their computer. The K580 does not come with a mouse, so that the user can choose the type of multi-device mouse they prefer. Still not sure which keyboard is right for you? To see a deeper breakdown comparison of these two keyboards, watch this video appearing on the screen right now. Like this video so I know it's useful to you. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.